everybody. So today I'm really excited to share with you guys that STL Ocarina came out with two new Ocarinas in their baseline and they sent them to me to try, um, which I was very excited about. So they arrived in these really nice cases right here. And I don't know if you can tell, I mean, it's all black on the inside, but um, it's definitely padded and protective. It's a nice hard shell, heavy case. Um, and then here are the two Ocarinas. And you might say, these just look like two purple clay base ocarinas. Like, what's the big deal? Um, these are actually in the key of G and F. So they're lower than the C ocarinas that they had been carrying. So I'm recording into my ribbon mic, which um, you won't see on the screen, but it's right here. And I do have some sound treatment up around my room to help absorb some of the reverb so you can hear more of the natural sound of the ocarina. So let's go ahead and start by taking a listen and we'll talk about them afterwards. Okay, so now that we've taken a listen to both ocarinas, I want to say I was actually most surprised by the difference in tone color between the two ocarinas. Now, I'm not sure how much it comes across on the video, but in person, the G definitely has a bit of a pure purer tone than the F, which has a little bit of a breathier sound and even a more percussive articulation. Now, I don't dislike either sound, and I'm not sure that um, they play differently because one is a G and one's an F, um, like I've said in other videos before, um, these are handmade, so there can be slight differences from instrument to instrument. So that might be the case here. Um, either way, I mean, I, I like having different options in sound, and I do like both of these instruments. Um, so, but I, but I did want to mention that there was a little bit of a sound difference. Now, the F is a larger instrument, and I did notice that it took a little bit more air to play and sustain the notes. But it's a larger instrument, so that's to be expected. And one thing I do want to mention is that I noticed there's no extra, um, those little holes that you, you know, slide your fingers to either get to lower pitches or to do some of the half steps. So the lowest note on either of these ocarinas is a G or an F, whatever the tonic is. And then if you're used to sliding and using these um, little holes here to get some of the half steps, um, you have to use cross fingerings instead on these ocarinas. And finally, the thing that I was most surprised about with these ocarinas is that I could actually play them. <laughs> and the reason why is I already felt like the C bass was a lot for me to manage. Um, and so I wasn't sure how I would be able to handle a larger, even heavier bass. And I have to say that these aren't actually um, that much heavier, if heavier at all. And I was imagining that the bodies would balloon out a lot more, but if you look, the body is actually pretty thin and then it's more like longer and flat. Um, and I'd say the finger holes aren't any bigger than the bases. Um, they're not spaced super far apart or anything like that. Um, so I actually found these a lot easier to manage than I thought. And I was so excited about that because, you know, I had been wanting to try some lower ocarinas for a while. So I'll go ahead and link to these ocarinas in the description below, but please feel free in the comments to let me know your questions, your thoughts. Um, I couldn't be happier with these. Like I said, I'm just so happy that I can play them. I love the sound. I love how they feel to play. Um, so yeah, so thanks so much for watching and have a great day. <laughs>